$245, a little under that, but lots of non-food items along with our groceries for this week. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and I am back with another weekly grocery haul for my family of six along with the meal plan for our week breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas. So today my total was just under $245. I'll have the breakdown like always in the description. I break apart what we paid for food, what we paid for non-food, and then I add in the tax as well because some of you guys were curious about that. And then the grand total. So today I actually picked up quite a few non-food items. As you guys know, October is seriously like right around the corner. I think Tuesday is October 1st, and that is Halloween, gearing up for Halloween. So I did pick up some fun items for the kids. So let's get right into the meal plan first, and then we'll go into the grocery haul. Okay, the meal plan. So this is for September 23rd to the 29th. I really can't believe we are closing in on October. This is definitely my favorite time of year and you guys are gonna see that going forward with the meal plans. So Monday 23rd, I do like to meal plan Monday through Sunday. That's just what's really been working for my family. I've got smoothie for breakfast a snack plate for the adults, and then the kids actually ate at school because they liked what was on the menu that day. And then for dinner, we tried that stuffed zucchini that I picked up from Costco, and then I also made some sausage and potatoes on the side because um, even though my oldest does not eat meat, the rest of us do. So I tried to make a little bit extra um, just in case the little kids didn't like that zucchini and they didn't try it. Pearl tried it, but the rest of them looked at it and they were like, yeah, no, I don't wanna try that. So they had sausage and potatoes, um, but this stuffed zucchini was really yummy. I'll definitely pick that up again. Tuesday the 24th, I meal prepped a ton of pancakes. So now we are stocked on pancakes for maybe two weeks because we are a larger family. It really doesn't last us that long. So pancakes for breakfast, um, I prepped some pork chops for lunch for my husband and I, and then we have, I put broccoli down, but we have like different kinds of veggies and salad and stuff that we could add to the pork chops. So just pork chops and broccoli, and then the kids ended up having chicken nuggets. For dinner, I actually did another vegetarian meal, no meatballs or anything, just plain old spaghetti and salad, and actually I didn't end up making spaghetti. I found some vegetarian lasagna noodles, so I kinda just took the spaghetti sauce, the noodles, and mozzarella cheese and made sort of like a vegetarian lasagna. It was good, but it wasn't the best. <laughs> but I did have those noodles and I wanted to use them up. So we ended up having that lasagna and then salad on the side. All right, I keep putting muffins on the dang menu and I never make them. So maybe we'll get to making them, but when I write down my breakfast, I kind of just write down things that we have on hand. That doesn't mean this is what we actually ate for breakfast. This is just the various things that either I want to make or we already have on hand. So I don't remember what we ended up having Wednesday, probably cereal, because I did buy two boxes of cereal for this week. So no muffins, want, want. But this is for Wednesday the 25th. For lunch, did a taco salad and snack plate. Um, for the kids, so this is the adults, this is the kids. And then for dinner, we made the that pork butt from Butcher Box in the crock pot with some barbecue sauce, and then I had coleslaw on the side, and I did not end up making the pinto beans. I have some dried pinto beans, but hopefully I can get to making those because I have a uh, yummy looking recipe for the Instant Pot for these. So maybe I'll share that in an upcoming video or what's for dinner or something like that. But we just had the pork and the coleslaw. Thursday the 26th, eggs and bacon, super easy. The kids love it, the adults love it. Just a go-to breakfast option. It does not take very long, even on a school morning. And then again, I did prep enough pork chops for um, two lunches, so I wrote down that again, and the kids had a quesadilla in their lunchbox. Um, this actually did not happen. The chicken tikka masala with rice and corn, um, we did not make this for dinner. We ended up eating breakfast for dinner because this is um, one of the days that I was meal prepping a few things and I forgot to take the chicken out. So we just had quick eggs, pancakes, 
bacon, chicken sausage, those chicken sausages from Costco. I didn't get them this time. I got them the time before. They're super yummy and we still have quite a few left in that big bag. So it's definitely lasted us a good month. Um, so we ended up doing breakfast for dinner, but we still have this stuff to pull over into um, another a week. So I like having stuff on hand. All right, Friday the 27th, cereal. Um, we did have this or the kids had this a few times this week. For a lunch, I wrote fish and salad, but I didn't end up making fish. We had leftovers and then peanut butter and jelly for the kids. And then we ended up eating out for dinner um, because the kids were supposed to have a dentist appointment, but there was some miscommunication going on. So we were already out, ended up eating out. The kids enjoyed that. And we went to go see that new movie, Abominable. And you guys, it is definitely adult approved. I enjoyed it very much. I laughed often throughout the whole movie and it was just a super cute movie so if you guys are on the fence about seeing that i definitely give it a thumbs up it was really good and the kids loved it as well okay so typically i am not um planning on the weekends anymore just because we always have leftovers um things come up with family and stuff like that so i wrote down a few things but um we just kind of do whatever on the weekend so i wrote cereal and waffles i was going to make waffles but this isn't going to happen and then we ate with family um, on Saturday, we had a family member pass away, so it was a celebration of life with a bunch of family, and I really love, even though it is a sad um, time to get together, I love it when all of our family gets together, extended family, because it doesn't have to happen as often um, as we would like, even though we live pretty close, and the cousins just have a fantastic time playing together. I actually posted a picture of my kids and then my cousin's kids, so their second cousins all um, together, and I just love when they get together and we can watch them play and stuff like that. So that was a really good time hanging out with family and we just snacked that night. And then Sunday, like I said, I put waffles down, um, just snacking and leftovers for lunch and dinner. But this is what was on the meal plan for the 23rd to the 29th. All right, now for the grocery and non-food item. I got a few more extra things now that we're heading into the holidays. So again, everything is from Walmart, and I'm gonna start with the non-food items first. So we'll start back here, Cottonelle, got some toilet paper, we need that. <laughs> and as soon as we have more space in the bathrooms, um, we will be buying these in bulk. Um, but since we are limited on space in this location, we, are, we do just pick up six at a time. All right, so typically, uh, or in the past for the last, what, over a year, I have been using the dish wand from Grove Collaborative. However, I don't have an order coming anytime soon. I kind of just paused it. I had plenty of stuff on hand, um, but I do need a, a new brush head. So I went ahead and just picked up a new wand to use and then a package of refills. So I have that on hand. Okay. It is my husband, Mark's birthday, October 8th. So I went ahead and picked him up a card. I'm not going to show you guys what it looks like just because just in case he sees it or anything like that, I'm going to tuck it away, but I did pick him up a birthday card. And of course I paid extra for it since I didn't get it from the Dollar Tree, but I'm not going into the Dollar Tree anytime soon. So I went ahead and got him that. And then I did pick up some Halloween items. So I got two books for the kids. This one is How to Scare a Ghost. You can see right there, it was $8.08. .08, and I thought it was super cute. And then they love interactive books and stuff like that. So I saw this, again, it was $8.08 .08, and I thought it was super cute. So it says, boo, I see you. On every page, shine your light to see what's hiding in the night. And then it comes with this little flashlight. And on the pages, you can't see what's there until you take the flashlight out and shine it on there. So I thought that would be super fun for them to do. And then I saw these and I'm going to see if they want to do this. If they don't, I am going to hold on to my receipt so I can return them. But I thought that this was a, such a cute idea. So it is do it yourself Halloween tote bag. So you can, I mean, they show it with puffy 3d paint, but I'm just going to let them use markers. Maybe I'll pick up a couple colors. We don't have any of that on hand right now, but it is just color it yourself. And it's a tote bag for when you go trick or treating to put your candy in. So I thought that was cute. I got two of these trick or treat ones with the candy all over it. And then I got this one for my son Bryce. Cause he's not, he's not really into coloring that much right now. So this one just says trick or treat. All right. And then we'll stick with the Halloween. I did go ahead for, let's see, Valentine's Day, Easter, sort of, 
Halloween and Christmas. I buy the kids outfits to wear to school or just around that holiday season. So I went ahead and picked up some for Halloween. I got just this plain black t-shirt for my son Bryce and then it has the pumpkin on it in like an orange metallic. So there's that one and then it was $5.98. So he'll just wear this with a pair of shorts or jeans. And then for my girls, my twins, Rose and Pearl, I'm gonna go ahead and set out the outfits so you can see what they look like. Okay, so for Rose, I got this one. It says spooky cute. It has the unicorn little skeleton of it on there and it does say it glows. So I bet the unicorn glows in the dark. And her shirt was $5.98. And then I got this sort of matching skirt. It says spooky cute on it, $5.98. So I got that for her. So for Pearl, I picked this one out. It says Ghoul Squad, and it's got the three girls on it dressed differently. I'm pretty sure this was five, yeah, $5.98 as well. And then for her skirt, I got this one, the black tulle with the metallic orange pumpkins. And this one was probably, yep, the same $5.98. And then I got them both because, I mean, it's just a rule in our house. If they wear skirts or dresses, they have to wear shorts or leggings or something underneath. So I did go ahead and get them both. They do not have just plain black leggings that fit them anymore. So I went ahead and got these. That way they could wear them with this if they wanted to, if it was chilly on this day, or they could wear shorts. But they'll also have this going into when it does start to get, start to get chilly here in Texas. And these were just $3.98 each. And they are just, it says tough cotton, extra durable, and they're just plain black leggings. All right, and then two things for myself. So I did get myself an eyelash curler. I had one a while ago. I haven't been using one very often, um, but I lost a little rubber piece in it. So I went ahead and got myself another one. And then on a good note, all of my pants, my shorts, my jean shorts and pants, um, are very, very loose. So to make my pants and shorts last a little longer, I went ahead and got a belt. I've never really been a belt wearer. Um, I do have one belt, but it is an extra large, and I went to put it on this morning with my pants, and it was too big. I couldn't even... Um, there was no circles left. So I went ahead and got this belt. I thought because it had the circles all the way through it, it would last me a while. And then this is a large and it was $6.50. So hopefully that will prolong the life of my shorts and uh, pants for a little while. So that's everything non-food. Now let's get into the food. So back here I have some drinks. Um, I feel like I might have enough coffee to last me until next week, but I did see this, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's the Great Value, which is the Walmart brand fall pumpkin spice. There's 18 pods in here. So I went ahead and picked that up just in case I do run out before next week. Um, my kids have been asking for orange juice lately. So I went ahead and got this one, the Trop 50, 50% 50 less sugar and calories, no artificial sweeteners, and they do prefer the no pulp. So I got that. And then our weekly one gallon of organic whole milk for cereal and drinking and turning into chocolate milk and all that good stuff. You know, what you use milk for. Then I got one package. So Walmart, unfortunately, does not have a good variety of Zevia, but I wasn't going into HEB. I didn't want to go into two stores, so I just got one six-pack of the ginger ale Zevia for my husband and oldest daughter. And I'm gonna see if I can order these online, how much they cost. Um, I just wanna be able to get different flavors. They just don't have a good selection here in our area. Two frozen items. I got a two pound bag of broccoli florets. And then I got these veggie tots. We haven't tried them yet, or if we did, it was a while ago and I have no recollection of it. But I got the cauliflower one. They do have a, like a broccoli one and a sweet potato. But I think this will be the best for my kids to try. So it does say no potato filled with cauliflower. So we're gonna give that a try for the kids. And then some produce. I did get a two pound package of strawberries, some tri-color coleslaw, a big package of organic spring mix. This has baby lettuce and then baby greens in it. Some bananas, three pretty large avocados, a bag of mandarin oranges. Then I have some organic petite baby carrots here some cherub tomatoes, and then the orange tomatoes that the kids like to snack on are only at HEB. Um, this was the only, the closest thing I could find at Walmart. So we're gonna give this a try. This is like, a, they're called Constellation. So it's just different colored tomatoes in here. We'll see if the kids like snacking on these. I did get a cantaloupe, and then a package of baby Dutch yellow potatoes. All right, 
This I picked up a while ago at Costco and it came in a two pack and I just felt like that was too many for us. So I loved finding them at Walmart with just the eight in here. So what we did with these is we turned them into sort of a crepe like or crepe style breakfast. I whipped up some cream cheese with some sugar free syrup in it and then a little bit of sweetener and I drizzled strawberry like a no sugar strawberry syrup on top of it and it was really good the kids loved it so i picked these up to do that again and then we have been loving the too good yogurt i picked up four vanilla so i didn't get the flavored ones this time because this past week when i picked up the vanilla yogurt we mixed a little bit of the birthday cake skinny syrup in it and then put blueberries or strawberries in it and it was so good. Like it just tasted like a dessert with that birthday cake syrup in it. So I just got four of the vanilla so we can play around with some of my fall syrups in this and maybe we can make our own like pumpkin spice version of yogurt in the morning or like mid morning, stuff like that. So if that sounded really good, I can't wait to try that out. All right, I picked these up a while ago. They were on Ibotta. I haven't checked yet. I did not check Ibotta before I went to the store, so I don't know if these are still on there, but they were really good. The kids liked them. They were neat, the little mini rolls. So I got one package again. Then I was craving some mozzarella. Um, we went to Costco. You guys have already seen that haul, and it was just too big of a container. So I got myself a small container at Walmart. Just sounds really good with some, um, either one of these tomatoes would be really good with that. Got some cottage cheese. We're having salad quite a lot this week for lunches and sides. And I love cottage cheese in my salad. Let me know if you guys like cottage cheese in your salad. It's super yummy. Then I picked up this for my oldest daughter to try. We do have some celery and some crackers from a subscriber that sent us a big package from Sweden. Thank you so much, that was so sweet. We're still working through it, it was so much food. The kids were super excited. So there are some crackers in there and I figured I would pick this up for her to try it with and I'll probably try it too. But it is Philadelphia dips, spinach, and artichoke. Sounds super yummy. Okay, and then I don't wanna say staples, but some stuff that we pick up whenever we're out of or, you know, as needed. So I got some Primal Kitchen steak sauce. This is organic and sugar-free. We, we are having some steaks um, this week or next week. That might be a meal that ends up getting pushed depending on our plans. Then I needed some barbecue sauce, so I got the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. And then since we are having salads um, quite often, I went ahead and got this dipping sauce and the kids are having chicken nuggets. So I figured I'd let them try this and it's the G Hughes sugar-free dipping sauce honey mustard. So got that. Um, not so healthy. We got some coleslaw dressing because we are having coleslaw. Um, not all of us will use that, but the kids do like it. And then I got some Duke's Real Mayonnaise. Um, the kids like this on their hot dogs lately. So I went ahead and got that. This is a staple and we are completely out. This is how we make chocolate milk if I don't buy pre-made chocolate milk, the Hershey's sugar-free syrup. So I got some more of that. And then I wanted to keep some seasonings on hand and I was doing a little research and apparently this Better Than Bouillon is absolutely amazing for all sorts of recipes. So I went ahead and got the vegetable base. That way, depending on what I'm making with it, my oldest daughter won't have a problem eating it either instead of the chicken or the beef. So that will stay in the fridge and I will use that as needed. Got some breads for the kids. We got the Mission Carb Balance. I went ahead and got the whole wheat this time for them to try. It says five grams of net carbs. There's eight in here and they use this in the morning for breakfast tacos or for quesadillas, stuff like that, even sandwiches. I'll put um, like turkey and cheese in here or even peanut butter and be peanut butter and jelly and they will eat that. And then speaking of peanut butter and jelly, completely out of bread and they have requested sandwiches with bread. <laughs> so I went ahead and got bread also and this is upside down, but I got the Sara Lee butter bread, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial colors or flavors. So I got that. And then we are having barbecue sandwiches. So I went ahead and got the um, eight pack of hamburger butter buns. And this one says the same thing. Never any artificial preservatives, colors or flavors and no high fructose corn syrup. So got that for the kids. And then I almost put this in the non-food but it is food and it's for their lunch boxes for Halloween. They're just icing decorations and I use this for various things. I put them on sandwiches, I put them in pudding, all sorts of stuff but that will be an upcoming video and I just love the different colors of these pumpkins so I picked that up. All right, so my daughter requested some 
ramen. However, the little packages that she likes that say vegetarian on them, um, the soy sauce packages don't say vegetarian anymore. At least the ones that were there at this time didn't. And normally they have that little green leaf up there at the top that says vegetarian and they did not. So this was the only thing, um, this is like microwavable. You put water in it and you pop it in the microwave. So I just got one to see if she likes that. And then I also got some other sides for her and the kids for dinner or quick lunch on the weekends. I got some Annie's organic shells and real age cheddar, just mac and cheese. And then I got two of these Noor sides. I love these because they're only a dollar each and it's just a quick side for the kids. I got the four cheese pasta and the creamy garlic shells. And then I made some pancakes a little while ago homemade with almond flour and yada, yada, yada. And the kids um, preferred this kind. They told me they just love how fluffy these turn out. So I went ahead and got this because I want to meal prep it so we have breakfast items on hand for school mornings. It just makes it quick and easy. And then speaking of quick and easy school mornings, they do not have the puffin cereal at Walmart. So I was looking through the different kinds and this was kind of what I decided on for the kids to try. So this is Annie's, it's organic friends and bunnies. Um, and it says it's cocoa, honey, and vanilla. So it's oat, corn, and rice cereal. And then I don't know if they'll like this or not, but I figured I would pick it up to let them try. Uh, my oldest daughter would love to try this as well. And this is Kashi by Kids. It's an organic berry crumble superfood combos. So we're gonna give this a try. Down here it says crispy purple corn puffs and filled pillows made with apple and strawberry. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a try. They're both, the carb and sugar count is still, is higher than the Puffins, but it is lower than the other cereals that we used to buy, like the Captain Crunch and stuff like that. They have so many Halloween cereals out right now. I was so tempted, but I was like, no, you know what? I gotta do better where I can. And cereal is something that I'm still gonna purchase for the kids, but I can make a little, little bit of a, a better decision for them, better choice for them. So. That is everything I walked out of Walmart with. Never mind, I lied. I did get myself another um, Coca Cola Zero Sugar because I love these. <laughs> and I figured once a week when I'm doing my grocery shopping to enjoy on the way home and the rest of the day is fine with me. So this came home with me as well. So that's everything I picked up from Walmart. Again, have the breakdown of the prices down in the description box. If you guys like that I share my grocery haul and meal plan every week, give this one a big thumbs up. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button if you are new and join our community here. I do try to share a grocery haul every single week. And now that we're getting into October, I have a few more fun videos and our lives are about to change just a little bit. So that's gonna be coming up in October as well. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.